And up next, one of the samples I got is from Stéphane Hubert Lucas Paris. It's called God of Fire. Here is the box for it. And I will post a photo of the actual bottle, which is beautiful. It's blue. It has this little dazzling effect. Um, so I asked the lady, I'm going to get me something unique. So this at first is very sweet. It has these mango notes to it, which is nice. It uh, has some berries. So you kind of automatically think, okay, it's very sweet, but with this one, what's really nice is that the dry down is woods. So you have the sweet to woods, so it lasts long. It's definitely twisting and turning. Um, the design for it on the box actually was a snake. Let's see the snake. And then of course I have a little snake ring on, focus. So of course I had to wear it um, for this Video. Something unique with this one that I really like is one of the base ingredients. It's called uh, Cetrimol, which uh, was new to me. So it's kind of a woodsy, uh, herbaceous kind of um, brown looking plant once I researched it, which has this depth to it, but it's not so woodsy like some of the other things that are out there. So with this, it's uh, definitely uh, unique in its way it is. Um, one thing I'm going to talk about uh, is just a trip tip. People ask me what's the best way to spray perfume all the time. So we're going to talk about that just a little bit um, with any perfume. Depending on how you want to project it, depending on how much you want it to last, all of those things make a big difference in perfume, in the way it's going to last, and so on. So you see people spraying here, 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 all over. Obviously, you're going to smell it no doubt about it but so say you know obviously with some of these niche perfumes you know it depends are you gonna wear it for yourself or are you gonna wear it for someone else and who is that someone else is that someone else going to be kissing you if yes spray some on the neck so when they're kissing they smell it if that person's not then oh well if you're going to be more business and you want to project a little bit that's where the risks come in because when you're shaking your hands that person is going to have that hand projecting that perfume that's another one if you want your clothes go ahead spray the back of the neck leaves a trail as you can see the more you spray depending on where it's at the more people will notice obviously you spray your whole body from head to toe you will project it from head to toe uh, fragrance usually goes upwards versus downwards, so even if you spray your ankles and your ankles are showing, that's a good way to have it kind of around you subconsciously so that when you're standing, people will get a, a whiff of it, which is also nice. If it's windy, good luck. Hopefully the wind blows in their directions. Um, and that's some of the tips for spraying. Um, if you guys have any more questions on spraying, let me know, drop a comment, and I will um, answer them. Thank you. And, sorry, please subscribe and like. Thank you.